Hi friends, today we're slicing up inspiration with delicious apple recipes. Pop out the core with a piping tip so it looks like a donut. Our fitness expert Gina shares exercises to improve everyday function. But you can see through this guy here, we're moving through all of those ranges of motion, getting some nice feeling here. Plus, we'll serve up some fresh fashion with how to style the classic Aloha shirt on the next episode. Presented by the Sui Hero Electric Gang, Sunday 7 p.m. on Spectrum LC16. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense, restyling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Hi there, get ready to fall in love with the perfect chicken salad. This recipe is a wholesome blend of ingredients including protein, crisp apples, so it makes a great idea for healthy eating routines. So let's get started. First what we're going to do is mix the chicken salad. We're going to add our chicken into a bowl. Then I'm going to add some red onions. I'm next going to add some chopped cashews. Now you can use peanuts. You don't even need to use any nuts if you've got peanut allergies. I like having a little bit of crunch in my food. Just mix that all up nicely. All right, we're going to put this aside and mix the dressing. So in a separate bowl, you want to combine some light mayonnaise, and this one's made with avocado oil, a little bit of Dijon mustard for that spiciness, yum, some plain Greek yogurt, and I'm going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar, about one tablespoon. Ah. Okay, gently. Mix it to it's nice and smooth. Then, just coat your chicken mix with the dressing. Now, here's where you can get creative. We're gonna start with an apple slice. I'm gonna pop out the core with a piping tip so it looks like a donut. Then I'm going to add a thin slice of provolone cheese, some baby arugula for that earthy, peppery taste. And it looks so delicious. Okay, now I'm going to top it off with our chicken salad. Finger looking good. Then I'm going to finish with some fresh ground pepper and pink Himalayan salt. <sighs> Again, look how beautiful this is. I'm going in for a bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It's crunchy, it's fresh and refreshing, and it's so fun to eat, and it took just minutes to make. If you have a recipe you'd like to share with us, send that to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more recipes and pro tips. Tune in for your daily dose of Fashion Sense on Spectrum OC16.
Hawaii Sports Radio Network on AM 760 and FM 95.1 is the freshest local sports station in Hawaii. We are the official radio broadcast partner of the Oahu Interscholastic Association. Listen live to Hawaii High School Sports and wake up in the den with Kule Agbayani. Weekday mornings at 8 a.m. It's the only woman-led sports talk show in Hawaii. Follow them on social media at HI Sports Radio or visit HawaiiSportsRadio.com. It's time for Beauty Talk with Lash Master and Educator Deidre Harvey of Zoe Lash Pro. Hi Deidre. Hi Val. We see lots of styles and trends change in fashion and beauty. Today you're talking about the latest trends in eyelash extensions. Yes, so one of the trends we're seeing is brown lashes. So this works really good with the trend that's going on right now. More natural, mm -hmm. more wispy look. Uh -huh. So this is really ideal and great for people that have maybe lighter skin tones, maybe the redheads. Brown looks really nice. And what I do like is that a lot of these lash companies are coming out with not just one shade of brown, mm -hmm. but maybe like four different shades. You have the darker brown all the way to the lighter colors and in between. So it's really an option for everybody to try. Uh -huh. If you're used to, to the black dramatic lashes, you can add a little bit of brown to create like maybe a hybrid set. A little bit more texture, a little bit more depth. Oh, so it sounds like the brown can still give you a dramatic look, but a little softer. A little bit more natural. Yeah. Oh, natural, I love that. I always love hearing the latest styles and trends, and I love that there's options for everyone. Thank you so much, Deidre. Mm -hmm. Friends, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more pro tips. Head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. You can also email us at info at zolashpro.com. We'll be right back. Tune in for your daily dose of Fashion Sense on Spectrum OC16. Imagine not being able to provide your baby with the most basic need, a clean diaper. This problem impacts one in three moms who cannot afford enough diapers to keep their baby dry, clean, and healthy. And subsidized programs like WIC, food stamps, and Medicaid do not allow the purchase of essential diapers. The Aloha Diaper Bank works to close the gap by providing free diapers to struggling families in our community. You can help to keep our island keiki clean and dry by donating dollars or diapers. Visit us at alohadiaperbank.org to learn more. Mahalo. Hi friends, whether you're buying or selling a home, it's important to create a team to help guide you. Our real estate expert, Denise Miyahira, shares why. Hi Denise. Hi Val. So yes, it is important to have that support and to have a team together to help you with your long-term goal, yes. either buying or selling a house, right? So the first person you call is the most important, which is your realtor, realtor. <laughs> yay! So your realtor is going to be like your manager. Mm -hmm. The realtor is going to tell you maybe you need to have this person or that person as part of your team. So if you are going to um, sell, you might want to consider talking to your financial advisor or your accountant. Is this a good time? Is there any tax strategies that you have to be aware of? If you're buying a home, you need to have your loan officer on board. And the loan officer is gonna help you to get the loan to purchase your house. If you already own the home, you're looking at the different policies and you need to have coverage for your home. But if you're going to be buying a home, you need to now have coverage for the house that you're going to be purchasing, right? Mm. So important to be talking to an insurance agent. Lastly is you're gonna have all these inspectors and you need to have an inspection on the house. You wanna know what it is that you're purchasing. First person you call, home inspector. Okay. The home inspector's role is very important. They will come to the house to test out whatever is going on in the home. They'll test the systems and they'll give you an idea of what is the condition of your house. You might have a pest control expert come out, take a look at the house. Is there anything that could be affecting mm. the structure or the home? You might have a contractor that you have to have come out to help you with getting itemized um, estimates for repairs. Your realtor, like your manager, is going to help you to put together your team to help support you in your long-term goal of what it is that you wanna do. Right, and the realtor has 
a plethora of resources so they'll be able to pick and choose the right experts to build that team, right? Absolutely. And if you don't know someone, that's exactly where your realtor can step in and yeah. say, hey, I might be able to get this person to help you mm -hmm. and um, help you make your decision. Thanks, Denise. Great tips always. So friends, make sure to get together your A-team along with your realtor so they can help guide you through this process. For more pro tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com, where you can also submit a question for our expert. For anything real estate related, contact Denise directly Thanks, Val. And together, we'll find the keys to your happy home. We'll be right back. Tune in for your daily dose of fashion sense on Spectrum OC16. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs. Moisturizing. Rejuvenating. Energizing. Sunkissed. Alluring. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. It takes a lot of little things to make a successful classroom. But it only takes one small donation to make a difference. A donation to our island's public schools is a giant step towards building a future for our keiki. Learn how you can make a difference at communityhelpingschools.org. Hi friends, it's time for our Ask the Doctor segment with Dr. Hannah Merchant, who is answering a viewer question. Hi Dr. Hannah, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Val. So Monica writes in saying that she hasn't seen a doctor for years. Should she see a primary care physician or an OBGYN? Okay, Monica, no matter who you see, mm -hmm. they will be very well trained okay. in women's health. Okay, so whether it's a primary care physician or an OBGYN. Now, it really depends on what your current situation is. OBGYNs typically take care of women who are pregnant and they do a lot of preventive care. So if you have any issues that have to do with reproductive organs, then yes, going to an OBGYN would be very helpful. Okay. Now, primary care physicians, they um, are, are very well trained in taking care of women's issues as well. In fact, in some parts of the country, primary care physicians are are delivering babies. Your nearest OBGYN, depending on where you live in the country, may be hours away. So that's not always an option. Okay. So I'm I'm really impressed with rural doctors and how much they can do. If you're having issues like pelvic pain or discharge, you can go to your primary care physician. However, if you need any kind of specialized um, visualization of the reproductive organs or any kind of surgery, then typically an OBGYN is the person to go to. If you have issues with diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure, or any kind of chronic illnesses, the primary care physician may have more training in those areas, and you may want to think about seeing a primary care physician for that purpose. Okay. Both primary care physicians and OBGYNs can do pelvic exams, breast exams, pap smears, but you especially want to go to the OBGYN who specializes in prenatal care and postnatal care. If you're looking for comprehensive health that does not involve reproductive care, then a primary care physician may be a, a good option for you. Okay, well thank you so much, Dr. Hannah. I didn't realize that both these type of doctors can do very similar things. Good to know. So friends, if you have a question for our doctor, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more pro tips. We'll be right back. Tune in for your daily dose of fashion sense on Spectrum OC16.
welcome back. Get ready to transform your next happy hour with this simple, stunning, sparkling apple cider sangria. Now this recipe is so easy to make and with just minimal prep, you'll be on your way to sipping a festive and fabulous drink. Okay, let's get started. All you need is a clear pitcher and a full bottle of sparkling cider. Then we're gonna add some ginger beer. And don't be alarmed with the ginger beer ingredient. It's actually a non-alcoholic drink. And I love the ginger flavor of it. It's gonna add such a nice spice to this. Okay, next I'm gonna add some fresh lemon juice. Let's put these caps on the side. And throw in some sliced oranges and sliced apples. Now remember, you're the queen of your kitchen. Use your favorite fruits. You don't necessarily need to use apples and oranges. Didn't I tell you it was simple? Now I'm also going to add some cinnamon sticks for that festive flavor. I'm just gonna give this a nice simple stir. Now, ideally, you'll want to sit this in the refrigerator for at least two hours or overnight. But if you don't have time, don't fret. Go ahead and serve it up right away. That's what we'll do today. So I'm gonna add some ice cubes in a glass. And then let's layer the outside or the inside edge of the glass with some fresh fruit. I'm just gonna alternate with the orange and the apple. There we go. Then we can pour our sparkling cider and garnish with the cinnamon stick. Another beautiful recipe. I'm going in for a sip. Oh my gosh. I don't think I could have waited two hours for this. It's so good. It's giving me all those fall vibes. If you have a mocktail recipe you'd like to share with us, send that to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more recipes and pro tips. Cheers. Tune in for your daily dose of Fashion Sense on Spectrum OC16. Hi friends, welcome back. I'm here to talk to you today about happy, healthy hips. We experience a lot of tightness from being sitting and in a sedentary position while working, while driving. And so we have a movement today that you're gonna do this and you're gonna feel a lot of loosening up of the tightness. Now, there's also gonna be an element of balance. Why balance? Well, because in everyday real life situations, for example, like putting on your pants, we do it one leg at a time. Think about when you come out of your shower, lift, step over the shower, get out, one leg, transfer the weight, same thing, lift, 
over the other shower to stand. That is a real life everyday example of us utilizing balance. So let's get started with today's movement for healthy hips to leave a balanced lifestyle and also alleviate some tightness and even in the hips and possibly even some lower back. I do have a chair right next to me and that's just really to help prevent any Whoop, whoop, wiggling, wobbling while you're balancing, and we always wanna do it safely. And I'm gonna have my chair a little bit behind me so it doesn't interfere with my position. Let's get started. So, I'm standing on my feet. I'm feeling nice and grounded, drawing belly button into the spine. Now, my hand here is just gonna hold gently for the chair. I'm not leaning on it. which just there to help. Now. We're gonna bring the leg up. So we're gonna bring our leg up, 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 up to about hip level, right? So knee to hip in one level. This guy's gonna rotate outwards externally through the hip. Now as I do this here, you're gonna pay attention to hips facing forward. If you could visualize headlights on your hip, those would be shining forward. Now, continuing on, you're going to drive the leg behind you, internally rotating, moving nicely through that hip there, getting out any kinks. Here, our thighs are together, parallel to each other. Quad stretch and feeling it through the hip. Flex that foot that's up in the air, point. Flex again and draw it back through. So that's one rotation, up, out, externally rotating, holding here, feeling a nice stabilizing uh, glute squeeze and leg balance. Then internally rotate, quad stretch right here, even through the hip, hip is nice and open. Flex the foot, point the foot, flex, and then we're going to stand on that leg. Now, we're gonna do the other side for balance. I'm still gonna hold on to the chair. It's not close to me, so it's not gonna interrupt the range of motion. Other leg's gonna gently lift, externally rotating, moving through this guy here, hips face forward, internally rotate, thighs are in alignment, flex the foot, point the foot, flex again. Last one on this side. I'm only doing two on this side, but you can see through this guy here, we're moving through all of those ranges of motion, getting some nice feeling here. Of course, I only did two just to show you. You're gonna wanna adopt this in your everyday life. You can do this any time of the day when you're feeling some tightness and want some relief. And I would do about 10 of those for each leg. Let's always remember to be kind to our bodies. Tune in for your daily dose of fashion sense on Spectrum OC16. Welcome back. The Aloha shirt is so popular in Hawaii because it is considered a symbol of its culture and heritage, representing the Aloha spirit. Its colorful designs reflect the natural beauty of the islands and it is often worn as a way to express pride in Hawaiian identity. Today we show you a few ideas on how to style a men's Aloha shirt, starting with this idea. Now this is a men's extra large shirt. Great as a cover up, but watch how I transform it into something different. Tuck the entire collar under the shirt. Wrap one side of the front over the other and finish with a wide waist belt. The 
men's Aloha shirt is no longer just for the guys. By embracing the bold patterns and relaxed fit with a tailored approach, women can easily incorporate this tropical staple into their wardrobe. What do you think? Let's take a look at another idea. Adrian's classic print Aloha shirt makes it easy to wear to the office. Tucked into slim white pants and under a white cape jacket, this outfit is chic and sure to make a striking statement in any work environment. White sandals and white earrings keep the outfit fresh and a conversational purse makes it fun. A fresh take on the Aloha Friday dress code at the office. Nixing prints has always been one of my favorites to do in fashion. Here's Gina's Aloha shirt styling. The bold orange on the shirt is a great complement to the leopard print of the skirt. Aviator sunglasses, brown platform sandals, and natural straw tote also play off the tropical vibes of the outfit. A refreshing look for the weekend or any Aloha attire event. Another thing I enjoy doing in fashion and in life is to live in bold color. Nicole's lively personality shines bright with her outfit. The vibrant colors of her Aloha shirt matches perfectly with the striking magenta-colored metallic skirt. White heels, white purse, and coral-colored sunglasses pull this outfit together for a spirited tropical style. Nicole shows us that wearing an Aloha shirt with a lot of color makes it exciting to build an outfit. Adding a vibrant, carefree touch to any Aloha shirt, whether you're hitting the beach or simply want to inject a dose of island style into your everyday attire, remember, always have fun with fashion! And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great sharing with you. And a very special thank you to D. Sui Hero Electric and Hawaii Sports Radio Network. To view all of our episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions for any of our experts. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. We'll see you again. Okay, I'm super hot, I gotta take this off. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Uh. <coughs> okay, sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen. We'll be right back. It's good, feel good. Yay! Yay, that's so mean. Stop, Stop it! it. Stop. <laughs> okay, is it playing? Yes. Okay, okay, okay right. now it's like here. Fashion Sense is presented by D. Sui Hero Electric Gang on Spectrum OC16.